Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about Gypsy Rose Blanchard once again, and I honestly didn't expect to be talking about her again so soon, but I have been witnessing things on social media that give me a level of trepidation. I feel like there is an imminent danger. <laughs> that makes me sound a little crazy and paranoid, but let me explain. Since Gypsy Rose was released, and I discussed this rather recently in a prior video link down below. People have been very, oh my god, slay queen. There have been memes about her literally slaying her mother. So there's been a lot on social media, let me just say that. But what I have seen is overwhelming support towards her. Now, I don't have any real big issue with that because it really is pretty much none of my business. That being said, what does happen when we see crazy levels of support is that there is a level of glorification that occurs. And that's where my sense of trepidation goes off the charts because anytime someone is put on a pedestal, anytime someone on the internet is the wholesome kind of person that everyone likes at the moment, the golden person of the moment, we see that fall apart, typically within seconds and typically over something that usually is not that big of a deal, right? There have been massive fuck ups on social media, but when someone is put on such a high pedestal, it takes nothing for them to just drop. And it usually becomes relatively ugly quickly. One of the TikToks that I saw to help me elucidate on all of this is this one. How long do you guys think it'll take for everyone to turn on Gypsy Rose Blanchard? Cause you guys love her right now. Like that's your slate queen. She's boots the house down. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what any of that means, I'm sorry. But everyone's gonna turn on her. You guys are gonna dig up old tweets. She's just a little overexposed right now and it's really only gonna get worse. We're gonna see her in Hot Ones. She's probably not gonna make it past the third wing. If she doesn't start her own podcast, she's gonna do like a podcast tour. We're gonna see her in Call Her Daddy, maybe Drink Champs. She's gonna divorce her husband and we're gonna see her course at the Knicks with Pete Davidson. I think she's gonna win the next season of The Masked Singer. And when you guys turn on her, which you will, She's gonna go far right, she's gonna get mad racist, like Trump is gonna be bringing her out to every single campaign speech. I've already seen the next two years, guys. And I completely agree with the concept that people are going to turn on Gypsy Rose also because, and this will be referred to in the second TikTok, she hasn't really been on social media the way us in the free world that makes it sound like we're in the 1800s. Us in the world who are roaming free have been on social media. So there are certain words that I know are indicative of something that have connotations. There are certain words that are used by certain people that determines who they stand, who they don't stand. There's so many little intricacies about internet culture that you learn without even realizing it. And I notice this especially when I'm talking to my family about social media, right? You'll use terms that we all know what they mean and we know what the implications are, but someone outside won't. But it's just that when you are that detached and when you come into social media, kind of like basically diving into freezing cold water, you're just hit with all this shit at once. And so many memes, even the simplest of things, memes are references to older videos, to things that happen in pop culture that she might not even be fully aware of, that it must be a lot to just be on social media, let alone being on social media with a big following, let alone being on social media with a big following and being very, very observed. Guys, it's too early to be pissed off at Gypsy Rose. Basically everything has gone exactly how everyone predicted. She came out of prison and immediately became an influencer. But cancel culture didn't exist before she went to prison. Prison was being canceled. Now, this girl is a time capsule. She came out of prison and she goes to Times Square and she talks about how epic it is. Every video starts with the longest millennial pause I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. And so she came out of prison with no, almost no social media experience and she fucked up on social media. This has also been predicted. We all knew that this was gonna happen at some point. She was gonna say something or do something on accident that was a little fucky. And so she posted her cousin, I wanna, I wanna say, who's, 16 and she was like ladies age appropriate ladies slide into his dms is that an amazing use of her giant platform no but she just got the giant platform last week
There's a learning curve here, and we've got to give a little bit of grace. This is not what I'm canceling Gypsy Rose over. If Gypsy Rose comes out as a Trump supporter, I would change my mind. But otherwise, give the girl a second to adjust to having a fucking monstrous platform. Okay, so to contextualize this TikTok, in case you didn't know, Gypsy Rose posted a picture of her and her nephew who is 15. She posted this saying that people should hit him up to date him, ladies, I believe it is. And she said clearly only age appropriate ladies. Now, some people thought this was out of line. I saw it as silliness. I do think that it's dangerous and probably should be taken down. That being said, the vibe here for me was kind of like your middle-aged aunt who just joined Facebook and doesn't know what is public and what is private, so she'll just post a bunch of shit everywhere and it'll get messy. That's the vibe I got from this. Now, clearly she needs to be careful. I wonder if there again is a PR team here that can intervene, that can inform her a little bit about how social media is. Also because back in the day when we were still all using MySpace, doxing and things like that were not common. I never saw that before social media really became career for people. So there's also that. But again, it's already getting messy. People in the comments, as you can see, were saying, dude, take this down. This is dangerous, blah, blah, blah. I blurred out this kid's tag, but apparently there was some personal information on his Instagram as well, which I think and I hope he has deleted by now, I don't know, but his following also went up drastically and very quickly. It's all a learning curve, granted, I just hope it doesn't get her in trouble for her own sake in the sense that she doesn't like dox herself by mistake or someone else. Part of this is, like I said, there is a glorification and we see this with celebrities. We see this with so many people who are in the public eye. But I think that the issue here as well is that a lot of the glorification I'm seeing seems to in some ways forget or kind of ignore the ordeal she went through. No matter where you stand on the Gypsy Rose situation case, she went through a lot in her childhood. She was put through a lot. And she now has a level of fame due to that. But I feel like sometimes people treat her just like she's some random person who came out of some reality TV show. And it's just like, well, it's a lot more complicated than that. I'm not saying to boil people down to their traumas, but it's also important to remember that that's a factor here, right? So anyway, people are already kind of turning against her. And I've seen this over social media, not big posts with massive amounts of interaction, but I'm already starting to see people finding issues with how she acts, what she wears, what she says. Okay, so quick note from editing me. I'm not here to say whether she should or shouldn't be canceled or to give a take because I mean, she hasn't been canceled yet. So maybe that'll come later. But the main point I wanna make is that I'm not trying to say that everything she's doing is correct or incorrect. That is not my stance here. What I am saying is that by putting someone on such a high level, it's very easy for them to fall. And that is exactly why they shouldn't be put on that high level because realistically, it's almost like you're treating them like they're inhuman in some way. And that's what I disagree with. But I'm not out here watching her every move or justifying any or every move she's made. Let me be clear about that. It's crazy because I just feel like we have an impending moment of this is going to be explosive because I really do feel like whenever Gypsy Rose does face her first cancellation, which is almost inevitable on the internet, especially when it's about silly things that are completely petty. She's not gonna be ready. I don't think anyone's ready, but it's also like if you haven't witnessed it happening in real time to someone else, I don't even think you have an idea of what's gonna happen to you, right? And it's always unpredictable, but at least we have a blueprint. All of us who have been on the internet, who witnessed Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, all these people being canceled basically overnight for reasons that in my opinion are valid. We know kind of how that goes, but imagine if you were just away and you weren't completely familiar with how quick it is to get canceled, right? And I think it's almost comical, the fact that I'm talking about someone being canceled, someone who is tied to 
the murder of her own mother being canceled. Like that entire concept feels surreal and kind of Black Mirror-y. In fact, if anyone who has anything to do with Black Mirror, if that even still exists, is watching, I feel like there's something here because it is kind of crazy to even talk about. Like someone who's in prison because their boyfriend killed their mother because their mother was abusing them for years upon years and Munchausen syndrome coming out of prison and becoming an influencer. Tell me that isn't material for something like that. And this is not to undermine what she went through, but the reality of it is so surreal at the same time that I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. I think a lot of this is also coming from the fact that she's been on talk shows, she's been on podcasts, and frankly, I don't blame her for that. And I want to be clear that I don't really blame Gypsy Rose for any of the stan culture, I guess, or whatever we want to call it. The people who are really oversimplifying this and the people who are really glamorizing and, you know, turning her into basically a celebrity and that's it. I don't think it's her fault at all, but the fact that she's on all of these things, that she's very much in front of cameras and stuff like that makes it worse. Not because I don't think she shouldn't tell her story, but the people who want to create a narrative will always be there as well. Does that make sense? Anyway, enough of me rambling. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. I genuinely hope that she doesn't get canceled. I, don't, I hope that none of that happens because I feel like that's probably the last thing anyone needs, but specifically someone in her position. But I feel like there's just so much being thrown her way that it's almost inevitable. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.